Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this awesome looking short animation for your micro interactions. So when you tap on this heart icon, it's going to change the color and all of these particles are going to show in the background. Also, if the user changes their mind, they can also switch back and it's going to go back to the default state. So once again, when you tap all of these particles and it's going to transition to red and once again, you can always go back. So let's get started. Alright, so here is the practice file for this tutorial and as always if you want to get this practice file make sure to join my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube videos and much more. So if you're interested in content like that make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. So this one is going to be really straightforward as you can see I only have one component and this example is just to show you how it works at the end. So you can create any kind of artboard, I just went with this default one 1280 with 800 but any kind of artboard will do and as you can see I created this instance of this component because the original component I worked on is really quite small so I just enlarge it in order to show you how all of this is created. So let's get started. As you can see we have default state and clicked state, so just two states and inside we have clicked, default and particles. So clicked, if I switch it to 100 because you can see opacity is at zero, is just this red color. Let me bring it back. Default is what you can see right here, so this white uh, original color. And finally particles are the original animation which is going to play at the background. So let me first walk you through the prototype. So why I went for this particular position is because because particles are going to be hidden behind the red heart when it's actually switched on like this so that's why I enlarged it so you can see the um, constraints of the original icon are here and the constraints of the animation are here because I wanted to explode further from the heart icon so if I show you that let's go to prototype you can see I just went for the tap so when you tap right here it's going to switch you to the clicked state using auto animate ease out and 0.2 seconds and the key thing right here is if I switch back to design the animation here is set to no playback so it's going to uh, do nothing at this particular state but when you switch to clicked state and when I show you the particles you can see it's play automatically now where I got these particles they are actually free so when you switch to your plugins panel you can install Lottie files if you don't have it simply click right here on your plus icon search for Lottie install this one and simply search for explosion press enter or return and I'm going to show you the one I use which is this one so particle explosion 2023 you can simply drag and drop it inside if you want to but what I actually did is I went online to their website and when you are at their website simply search for that so particle explosion 2023 press enter and you're going to see it right here. Now key thing right here to edit any one of these free um, animations and premium animations is to create an account. So this is my account and what you can do is simply click on that and you can scroll down and click edit layer colors. When you do it's going to open up the new tab and you can see all of these colors right here. Now what I did right here is I just switched the original animation so I went to clicked and simply selected this color so F62D2D control C and then went back to Loti files and simply everywhere where you have this um, either white color you can click on it select this hex and simply click update. So when you do it's going to update all of these colors and I'm going to go and edit all of them. So when I do it's going to show you this but we still have some issues right here and this is why I bring in this up. As you can see this triangle is a green, this one is blue, this one down here is purple and this one right here is a different shade of red. So what I did right here in the layers panel on the left is you can simply go through and click on each of them and simply hide them like so. So when you do that it's going to hide all of these triangles because I think that the original creator of this animation actually uploaded PNG versions of this particular icon. What you can also do is set the duration for example. So let's say that I want to let's say I want to save this so you can export it right here. You can export layer or upload to Loti files. You can upload to my previews which I'm going to do. 
and then what I can do right here is actually set the speed because I don't think that this is uh, fast enough I'm just going to click right here to set it to 1.5 and what you can do is simply click download it's going to show you this file you can rename this file you can do with it whatever you want and if you go back to Adobe XD what you can actually do is where your icon is so let's go to the default state and let's switch to particles what I'm going to do is actually just click and drag this file inside of my icon so when I click preview you can see that nothing happens but when I tap you can see that heart changes to red and then all of these particles are going to switch from behind so as you can see it's quite simple to do this just make sure when you edit these uh, icons and these animations that you follow through and make them larger and just make sure to match the colors if possible you can see that this circle is a different shade of red actually but because we don't have it in that layers panel that's why uh, I have to go with it that's why I had to increase the speed so I can actually hide it from the original preview like so and here we have that original prototype so like I show you you can scroll through it and then if you tap it's going to play that animation and let me actually zoom in a little bit closer just so that you can see so once again when you tap it's going to play and if the user changes their mind they can click one more time and it's going to disappear once again so there you go that's it for today i really hope you found this short tutorial interesting if you did make sure to press the like on this video it will help other designers find it make sure to subscribe because i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd design passive income techniques and a lot more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe make sure to check out other videos and until next time take care